Okay, so today uh, I just wanted to share a bit about uh, something I've been thinking about for a while that I've been wanting to do and now that we got the Gemini flash model, Gemini 3 flash model, I thought I just want to try it out. So this is like a smaller prototype version of this, this simulation. But just to make it short how this should work is that we have three agents now. Uh, all is running on Gemini 3. So one is Jack that works at the Daily Grind, that's a coffee shop. We have Claude that works at B in there. <laughs> and we have Erica, she's the customer of both coffee shops, right? So she can talk to both agents. The agents Jack and Claude cannot talk to each other because they are in different locations. Uh, but she's a bit of like this gossip girl, so she also spills information she had with uh, Claude here, she tells Jack about, and they both kind of are interested in her. So this is a, like a small social experiment simulation, right? And what I wanted to really do was to generate these mental images, because we can kind of record the inner monologue of the agents, and from that inner monologue we want to create mental images. Like when you have a thought in your head, you also visualize it. That was, was what I wanted to try to do. So I just wanted to show you kind of the demo I have for today. And hopefully next week I kind of have the full version. And yeah, let's just take a quick look at it. Uh, I don't have so much time today, so I think this is perfect. So another thing I wanted to implement was of course memory. So I thought I could take, talk a bit about the memory setup I have for this. Uh, I'm just going to go quickly through it here. So, if we go to... where did I put that? Was it in tools, I think? Uh, I can't remember. Here it is, memory service, and we have mental memory service. Right? So, for the images, I wanted to create a mental... Uh, mental, a memory too. So, I thought of like a sliding window, so each agent can remember their five last images. They or feelings or mental images, so they can load this into context. Uh, but I wanted a bigger memory for the conversations, so here we have like a bigger uh, window where we can share the previous conversations. So the thing is that uh, the agents only remember their conversations with Erica, and Erica with both, right? Because she can talk to both. So that is kind of the setup we have for the conversation. I think we're just gonna run it. And then you can kind of see how this works. So if we do npm web, because I created like a web UI for this. I mean npm run web, of course. So if we go to our local host now, you can see this is kind of the setup. Coffee shop simulation. So yeah, we're just going to keep it like this. Turns 3, exchanges 1, because we don't need to run this anymore. So when I start this now, uh, we're going to go through what happens. So you can see we are at the Bean Dare coffee shop. Morning, Claude. You look like you had a much more graceful start to your day uh, than I thought for sure. Uh, composed me. I let out a short, quiet laugh. And you can see we are talking. And you can see, yeah, there's a lot of talk here. And then we get Claude's thoughts here, right? Beneath a cool professional exterior, I'm actually hyper aware of how much my confidence is calculated to performance to keep you back coming to my counter. My secret hope is to see you right through the bravado and realize this is calibration. And you can see him, this is his dream, he's dreaming of her on the closed sign, they are kinda in love, right? And Erica's thoughts is that Claude talks about being perfectly calibrated, but, but my own heart is hammering so hard against my ribs that I'm terrified he'll hear it. And this is what she is imagining at the coffee shop. In Erica's daydream, the bustling coffee shops fade into a... Uh, okay. And uh, now we are visiting the Daily Grind. Morning, Jack. Yeah, there are some bugs here. Uh, oh, Erica, good morning. And you can see... Why is he talking so much? Uh, and then we get Jack's thoughts, like this is his inner monologue. Uh, he is also kind of dreaming of the same, because he also likes her. And then we get Erica's thought. Oh, she's kind of thinking of the same, right? Well, that's not bad. She's playing both sides. And yeah, Erica imagines Jack looking, locking the coffee shop at their early pulling into the warm glow of an espresso machine light to confess that he has been... Okay, yeah, uh, we don't need to go more into that. And yeah, we have to fix this, but this is just an experiment, right? Because we want to keep the conversation going. But now we're just going to do it three times with no uh, context. 
right? And yeah, it's probably gonna be the same, right? They are kind of in love. So, this is kind of the start I had. And I plan to work more on this. So, what I want to do, what I really want to do is generate more agents. And we don't have to have this visualer, we can do it headless, right? So, basically, I want to run like a big simulation where there are more people involved. So, this is more like a social experiment, right? And we want to keep track of all the interactions. Maybe we can summarize this. We can keep some of the images and stuff like that. Maybe create some more interactions between different agents. And I think it's just a fun project I want to uh, work a bit more on. Uh, but this was just an example uh, what I wanted to do. So the big idea uh, today is that I wanted to kind of turn the, the thoughts or like the inner monologue of the agents into images. So we are using, the model we are using for this is a pretty cool model you should check out. And it's super cheap. It's the said image model. So it's like a turbo model. It's pretty fast. Gemini is pretty fast. So I thought we can run like loads of these simulations, right? If we wanted to. So we can run it again, right? But now we don't have any, we haven't put on the memory here, right? Or you can see, maybe we have twice in one morning, Erica. Yeah, we did that here. You're really making the rounds today. So you can see we have now we have the memory loaded. Okay, so we kind of get the same point. Uh, but the point today was that I just wanted to share something I've been working on. I, I think this simulation thing is a bit interesting, but I haven't really found anything like good use case for it yet. Uh, but I'm going to keep exploring these mental images. I think this is pretty interesting and see where I can go from this. Probably the next version of this uh, is not going to be like this. This is just an example I set up just to see if it works. Uh, it's probably going to be something bigger, right? With more agents, more interactions. So, yeah, I just wanted to share this uh, short video today. But, uh, yeah, I've been busy today. But I thought I'd just do a quick update on this. And maybe this gave you some inspiration of simulations you can run. Some social experiments. It could be anything, right? And the model we're using is the Z image model. And with Gemini 3 Flash. Which is a really good model, by the way. Uh, it's very fast. So you can do these things on the fly. Even though we are lagging a bit behind the API here. But uh, it kind of works. Anyway. So yeah, just a short video today, maybe some gave you some inspiration and I'll see you again tomorrow.